Well, I'm a civil engineer. Um, I've worked for Atkins um, for 18 years, so um, I started as a graduate um, and I've worked in technical engineering, bridge engineering, across a range of, of disciplines, um, also project management and more recently business management. Um, and I've now just been made a fellow of the ICE, um, which I'm delighted to I'm a graduate engineer. I've been working since um, the summer. Before that, I was studying uh, general engineering at Oxford University, um, specialising mostly in mechanical engineering. So I studied at Imperial College, um, doing chemical engineering, so I, and then with a year abroad as well in UC Berkeley in California. Um, and then since graduating, I joined Atkins and I've been working here um, in the oil and gas team doing safety engineering for just over 18 months now. Um, I always loved, I loved Lego, I loved maths, physics, I ticked things apart, um, always asking why, 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 asking questions and trying to work out why things worked or didn't work, um, and also how to make things better, um, something, something I still carry to this day, and I think it, it suits engineering really, really well. I loved physics and maths at school, and I felt that engineering gave me the best chance to enjoy problem solving. I always enjoy the maths and physics at school and I wanted to, to apply them in real life situations and I was mostly fascinated by bridges and all kind of structures so I always was intrigued to know how they are made and constructed and designed. Uh, so I worked in many multidisciplinary projects uh, and basically I design offshore and oil and gas structures and uh, we also are involved in assessment of existing ones and it's very tight. I, I manage businesses so it, it involves working with people, um, building teams, working together to get the best possible solution for the problems our clients, our clients have on a daily basis. I've been involved in a, in a wide range of, of projects which are, have been fascinating and I'm really proud of my involvement in them. Um, I was delivery manager for the London Olympics, um, for the off-bark competition venues, of engineering services that we provided to LOCOG, um, so I was pretty proud of my, my involvement in that um, landmark project. Um, I've been involved in um, delivery of um, design for the M25 widening. Um, junctions 12 to 15, which again is great to actually see something when it's, when it's delivered and on site. Um, just before the 2012 Olympics, uh, I got a phone call from someone in the company saying, you've got the right skills to help us with this and we need your help straight away. Uh, it's all to do with the Olympic Stadium, nobody's supposed to know, but they're going to do a design modification and they want to know if that's going to affect the field of play and the wind conditions around there. You've got a week. Sebastian Coe is waiting for your report. Can you do it? It was very frightening, and I was only working part-time at the time. But I loved the challenge, and I took it on. And I was very relieved that I was able to come up with a good technical solution that satisfied all parties. So I think I liked the diverse range of problems that you get to solve. Um, so even within our job in oil and gas, there's a big range of of real life problems that you get to solve. What I like best about engineering is working in a team to solve problems. Some of the biggest challenges women in engineering will face is really a kind of historic one, a kind of view that engineering is all about sort of uh, big lumps of steel being uh, carried around by big blokes. I, I think that that, um, that idea of engineering disappeared a long time ago. Um, and there are definitely organisations and individuals and, and people who really want uh, that to be the past and really want diversity in the workplace. So the main challenges that I've experienced was applying to study engineering in the first place. When I was at school, nobody really, I went to a girls' school and no one really spoke, talked about engineering. If you were good at science, they pushed you to do medicine. They didn't show any interest in anybody who wanted to do sort of more, I, I suppose, maths, physics, engineering related things. And I found it very difficult to find out information about engineering, what it was like as a career. Um, 
So I guess my biggest challenge was just applying in the first place. I felt like I took quite a big leap of faith. And I'm really glad that I did it. I think uh, oil and gas projects increasingly require our teams to be collaborative, uh, to, keep, to communicate well and to be flexible. And from what I've seen, balanced teams of men and women seem to perform the best in our project teams. Definitely. Definitely. Go for it, girls. Absolutely. <laughs> Not just the boys!